So it's also good not to get attached to concepts and ways of thinking. Yeah. Like you go, you know, trying to get rid of the person, trying to get rid of the person. You have a like a concept around what that means. So another way of looking at it is our job is to become a person. Yeah. Before we make the spiritual path, there's one thing we are not, and that's a person. Yeah, a person is something that's dignified. Is is grace is something valuable. Yeah, it's the subject. And we are not a self at the moment. That's what we're. We're just a floating object. We're objectified. Yeah, like we become whatever the eyes of others want us to become. Yeah. So we know what it's like to be self-conscious, right? Okay. So the good example, you know, you're in the bathroom, you're in the bath, you know, singing away, rubber duck, maybe somebody's still got rubber, I don't know, adults, maybe like a alternative shampoo boat or something that you and you're sitting talking to yourself and you and talking about the days and then you notice that someone's looking in the window <laughs> yeah do you just continue as you were you know or do you become self-conscious and when you become self-conscious do you then act and put on a mask to fit into what that other person thinks, what you want them to think about you? It's quite an important question. So you objectify yourself. Who you are is not important. Who you're presented to be becomes important. This is the second witness. So this is of the two judges rely on the principal one. It's not the best translation. Prefer of the two witnesses. So the witnesses are witnessing ourselves, and the others witnessing us. And that the, when we're not on the spiritual path, then the others are the main witness. How you get dressed is for others. Is it not? Yeah, contemplate how much. So this is also related. All four of these um, points are just a description of consciousness. Yeah, like the principle being overcoming your ego. Ego is developed by the eyes of others. That's what the ego is. Yeah, we could say when we're not a person, we're just whatever the eyes of others want us to be. Yeah. If you're in the presence of your boss, you become a sycophant. Sycophant? Sycophant. Obsequious little weasel who says, yes, oh, yes, yes, and be saying nice things because your boss is in the room. Yeah. And when they're not in the room and you have someone else, hey, wanker. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Because you're in a group of people slagging off your boss, can you sit there and go, actually, he's a really nice person? Or does the group, the eyes of the group determine? You see what I mean? You're not a person. You're not a self yet. There's nothing solid. It's just, this is what it's like before we meet the spiritual path. You're whatever the group wants you to be. Yeah, it's called my favorite term. I think it's banned. I'm sure it's banned, like it's been banned on the sheeple. It's banned. It's so powerful because you just know that you're just like a sheep. You're just doing whatever the, you're told, whatever the culture says. You know, you bend to the culture, the woke culture, bend to it. It's like, what's the wifey that wrote the Harry Potter stuff? Rowling. Really? Yeah, Rowling. 
whether she's wrong or right, at least she's standing up for what she thinks. It's great whether she's wrong or right. It's like just standing up against them. And the other people just acquiesce. Because they're not, they're not, there's not, they're no self yet. There's no individuation. There's no core. Yeah. So we get into some, you know, very subtle points on the spiritual path. Like Yang Chen was talking about it the other day, when you actually practice it, it's just, a, it's a kaleidoscope of depth, life. Like these, everything we're talking about are just symbols for experience and infinity. Like, like every day is new. Yeah. And it's just what these sy words symbolizing what they're pointing to, things like bodhicitta is just, it's never ending and it's what it means. It has no end to what bodhicitta means, for example. So when the principle of two witnesses simply is, you don't care what other people think. You live according to your truth. Now, when you're living in concepts, the general fear is that means you wouldn't, you just do anything you want. But actually, at the moment, as I just described, people don't do anything that they want. Anything. They just do what they're ordered to do. <laughs> 